the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in a series of lectures that he gave titled The Theology of Time, he mentioned that the earth and the moon were at one time one planet. And that planet was called Moon, populated by the original black people. There were no races at that time. But a great black scientist wanted to get all the people to speak the same dialect and he was frustrated and disappointed that he could not enforce his will and out of his frustrations and disappointment, he decided to use his power to destroy the planet and all those on it. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this scientist was a black man and his intention was to destroy the black man. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that Allah taught him that this scientist drilled a hole two-thirds deep into the planet and filled it with high explosives and set it off. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the great Mahdi, Master Farad Muhammad, taught him that in that explosion the moon was blasted away from this part to the distance of approximately 12,000 miles. She turned over, emptying the water from that part onto this part, which we now call Earth, depriving herself of life. And this is why the Earth is three quarters water, one quarter land. Now the scientists are in agreement with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that when they sent their astronauts up to visit the moon, they brought back rocks from the moon and they said that those rocks smelled like gunpowder. Disappointment and frustration is a terrible emotional trigger that can trigger momentary insanity. Disappointment means not satisfied, unhappy because something was not as good, uh, attractive or satisfactory as expected or because something hoped for or expected did not happen. Frustration is similar. It's dissatisfaction, a feeling of disappointment, exasperation, or weariness caused by goals being thwarted or desires unsatisfied. Frustrating of somebody or something, an act of instance of causing somebody or something to be dissatisfied or unfulfilled something that blocks, thwarts, and upsets somebody all at the same time. If you really want to see what dissatisfaction can bring, just promise somebody something and build up their expectation for what you promise. And then when they expect it, Tell them, I'm sorry, you don't have it. And watch their faces. I tried this with my children when they were young. I wanted to see the effect of it. And boy, did I see. I promised my daughter something and kept telling her I was going to do it, I was going to do it, but I was really trying her. And then when it was time to give her what I promised, I didn't have it. And I saw anger come up in her. Of course, she wouldn't dare tell me what she really felt, but it was easy to see in her face. And any of you that are listening to this broadcast, 
You promise your children. You promise your wife. You promise your husband. You promise something and then disappoint. And that frustration, that disappointment, can lead to momentary insanity. And this is absolutely what is meant in the Quran about the wisdom of God. 